What is up, beautiful people? The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It's your boy F-I-L-I back again with another episode of Styles by Philly. On this episode, we are going to talk about this Fear of God Essentials drop that came out for fall winter. You know, a lot of interesting colorways that came with this. Very similar, but a very new one that I haven't seen before. You know, I think that's what caught a lot of people's attention, especially the ladies. But me, being a versatile person that I am, I had to cop that new colorway. This is a haul video, so I'm going to give you my first impression on all these pieces. So with that being said, let's get into it. I found my way, mission accomplished. I got it now, far from afraid. Can nothing haunt me, confident now my life is great. Can nothing stop me, don't count me out, ain't got no ways. Ain't stuff for nothing, I found my rock. All right, so where do I start off with this Fear of God Essentials Fall Winter 2022 drop? You know, they dropped three new colorways, or in my personal opinion, what I consider one new colorway and two recycled colorways. So these colorways are the eggshell, the smoke, and the coral. So I kind of want to see you know how these colorways look on these pieces you know they look very similar to a lot of stuff that has dropped in the past so i'm gonna give you my first impression on this haul that i picked up right here so let's get into this right now you know looking at the t-shirts they look very similar to what i already have i like it the actual looks really nice uh very interesting colorway to be honest looks similar to something that's dropped in the past i don't know how i feel about this font to be honest the font on the left side you know i think the placement or maybe it's the I don't know the dimensions of it. I'm not really feeling it to be honest. So far, I like the comfort of the tee, or the feel of it. Next up, I got the same thing in the coral colorway. Really nice. Not feeling the font on this either. Just like the fact that it's tonal on this t-shirt, but I do like the color of the coral and anything that's coral right now with this drop. Really clean to be honest. Next up, I did get the long sleeve also in the eggshell just to see the difference. I don't see there's much difference in regards to the long sleeves. I do like it though. Again, I think I'd prefer this font on the long sleeve as opposed to the t-shirt. I just think the dimensions look better, I guess, on the long sleeve. Really like it though. This is something that I was actually really excited to look forward to. It's this rugby polo in the smoke colorway. Now, I'm not a fan of the smoke colorway, to be honest. I think the only reason I like this rugby polo is for the simple fact that it has the white collar. But so far, I mean, I ain't hating on it. And the 1977 doesn't pop out. And as you guys know, I'm not a fan of the 1977. I have no relation to it. So I like this rugby polo, to be honest. Very clean. Next up is this nylon running short. Now I got this for the simple fact that I, I didn't know whether I should go for this or the cotton one. Again, it has a new font on this. This is something new, so very interesting. Uh, it seems nice so far. Very impressed to be honest with the flock print on the bottom side. Uh, <laughs> now going to this uh, smoke short, cotton short. You know what? This is a thumbs down for me. Uh, seeing this colorway, the smoke colorway, not feeling it one bit. Still, same old uh, regular shorts, just a new flock print at the bottom with the new fonts, but not a fan of the colorway. Now the coral, like I said, comparing it to the nylon, I like it. I don't know which one I'd keep. Again, this does look clean. Tono with the new flock print on the bottom, the new font. It's dope, I like it. Not bad, not a bad piece. I think the coral is something that you can definitely keep. Um, and something new for Fear God Essentials. Now, I did get the relaxed fit in the coral as well. One thing I do like about this right now is the simple fact that they do have the old font of the Fear God Essentials on the left corner by the pocket there. It's neat, but I don't know. I like it, but I can't see myself rocking this too much. Maybe, maybe the other sweatpants. Now this eggshell is really, really interesting. I really like this eggshell colorway in the sweatpants. Nothing different from, you know, your regular sweatpants from Fair God Essentials, besides the fact that they have that new font, which clearly I am hating on this. So first impression, I like the colorway, do not like this font. So pretty dope, pretty dope. Still no back pocket, no surprise there. My impression on this, on, on the smoke sweats, uh, looks like a lighter gray from the fennel charcoal. I've seen a lot of people comparing it to that, but I'm not, I'm not fully impressed to be honest. It, it reminds me of the olive colorway that they released a while back. So it looks like a regular sweatpants that they usually drop. So if you don't have a, uh, a color way, uh, a color this way, just this is a good uh, replacement if you haven't bought the olive or anything gray. 
Now this is a, a, a must keep. I'm really impressed by this one. Don't like the new font like I said. But I do like the fact that this is something new. And I would probably keep this just for the simple fact that it's a new colorway with the Fear of God Essentials drop. Very impressed I must say. This piece right here. Hey, I, I really like this, you know, zip up fleece sweater. Looks cropped. I like the fact that it has the old Fear God Essentials logo, but not a fan of the colorway to be honest. It looks a little bit cropped, so I don't know. I'd have to try on to let you guys know how I feel about it. But so far, it's okay. I think I prefer it in a darker color to be honest. Another piece that I was really looking forward to is this right here, this sweater vest. Really dope. The eggshell was very impressive in person to be honest, so I like it. It has the old font as well on the left side. I like that thick V. Really like this. I'm very impressed with this uh, sweater vest. Um, this is probably gonna be a key for me. Now, seeing the eggshell in the, in, in the vest, uh, the fleece vest, and seeing this smoke in the fleece vest, I choose the eggshell over this. Not a fan of this fleece vest, to be honest, in this colorway. Not too impressed by it. Very deceiving by the picture. So in person, it, it looks like something I already have. Now, this is the piece I was looking forward to. This coral crew neck. They went back to Ragnar from the looks of it. It does have the new font, but I don't mind that just for the simple fact that it's small on the left side and it's tonal. So that's the only thing that's tonal from the looks of it. I'm very impressed by this coral sweater. This crew neck, I must say, is a must pick up. Um, I'm keeping this for sure. <laughs> I'm not impressed by this hoodie to be honest. I hope I'm not bursting anyone's bubble, but this hoodie This font is not vibing with me or maybe I'm not vibing with the font Simple thing that I like about this is that it's tonal on the hoodie. I don't know if I'd keep this to be honest Again, I like the hoodie back to raglan hoodies, but that font right there Not a huge fan of so we'll see if I keep that this cable knit sweater is really dope i'm liking this very comfy i must say it's really really soft kind of like the wheat turtleneck cable knit that they released so this is probably a must keep for me i like this to be honest you know a little color in your closet don't hurt nobody right so i'm a huge fan of this <laughs> you know what this reminds me of this cable knit in the smoke color way it looks really nice but it reminds me of a very dirty wheat color uh you know if you haven't washed your wheat a cable knit from the past i think this is what it would look like very soft and cozy, I must say. I definitely might keep this. I don't know yet. I'm impressed by it, but because I have the wheat colorway, I may not keep this. It just looks like a, a darker color of the wheat. Um, so I don't know. I might, I might pass on this. <laughs> not a huge fan of this, to be honest. I could, you cannot see me in this. I cannot see myself in this. I think this is one of those pieces that it looks nice, but do I see myself going to this quite often? Probably not. I think it would be a waste of my money personally. It does look nice. I think a lot of people can pull it off. Again, not a fan of the color to be honest. And I just can't see myself wearing it. Can I put an outfit together with this? Probably, but not, not really impressed by it to be honest. Now, this long coat, or I don't even know what to call it. I forgot what it's called, but very soft not a fan of this color like i keep saying it does have some weird aesthetics to it because i did try it on but i think i'm looking forward more towards the wood in order for me to tell you how impressed i am uh i don't know how i feel about this to be honest the price point was already steep as it was and again i think it's more so i'm paying for the brand name as opposed to the purpose of it this indigo jacket is dope. I was looking forward to this, very impressed. The, the wash on this is lovely. Now I didn't get my hands on the first indigo jacket that they released, uh, I think it was two years ago or last year. Um, but I got this one now, I ain't mad at it. Very simple, you know, no details on it. It's kind of like if you know, you know. I think that the only details I see is on the back with the rubberized logo below the collar. I like it so far, so I'm very impressed when it comes to this denim jacket. Really, really a fan of it. And last but not least, I got a pair of indigo denims for the simple fact that the other denims I have, they are not very loose and baggy like these. And now I can have an exchange in regards to how I wanna go and make my outfit. So I'm actually a fan of these, to be honest. 
they look really baggy it looks like it's you know it's gonna go over my shoes really really well especially my bulky ones so i'm a fan of these denims right here these indigo denims are something i think are a must cop especially if you like wearing baggy pants uh, or need a pair of baggy pants that can go well with your outfits so that wraps it up for this episode of styles by philly i gave you my first impression on this haul that i pulled i got it all really quick to be honest my impression in regards to all this like i said recycled colorways like the eggshell does remind me of the buttercream it looks like it's a shade of yellow lighter the smoke reminds me of the olive because i think that smoke has some green hue to it it doesn't really remind me much of a of a gray color to be honest or i've seen a lot of people comparing it to the fennel gray or the charcoal colorway from the past maybe a lighter color of that because you know it does have that a bit of a green hue or my eyes tell me that at least the colorway that i was excited for was that coral colorway just for the simple fact that i had donated a bunch of my coral um t-shirts uh you know knits and and anything that had to do with coral i had donated because again it wasn't fitting me right aesthetically or it was just wear and tear and it just didn't belong in my closet anymore i'm kind of happy to see what came out but still i'm not a fan of this new font i have my opinions on it i think like you know i think jerry lorenzo signed off on something that someone designed and i i guess they had a purpose and a vision maybe it needs to grow on me i don't know maybe i need to put some fits together to be like you know what i take it back aesthetically the font does play a, a role in the in the whole fit but i don't know let me know what you guys cop let me know how you guys feel about this essentials drop for the fall winter of 2022 i don't know how uh, how many items you guys purchased if you guys are feeling the new colorways I can definitely tell you this that I am looking forward to that canary and that wood colorway or even that off black colorway that's coming out in the comment box below let me know how you guys feel about it if you guys copped anything how you guys feel about sizing i will be dropping another video with styling and reviewing these pieces you know you can check the description box below for the music that is you know playing in the background you know sounds by philly that's what i go by on this youtube channel i also have music videos i just released a new music video for how we do really dope video you can catch us doing a lot of crazy stunts in that video hope y'all like it hope you like the content once again thank you for subscribing to the channel it means a lot to me with that being said love peace and happiness peace so they're at so that shut your face this is bloop number two <laughs> is it impressive or not that was recorded <laughs> When you thirsty, you know what I'm saying? Better not put that in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not thirsty.